and in a bid to bring succor to victims of insurgency, the Society for Alleviation of Rural Poverty and Integration has visited the camp for the internally displaced persons in Zumba, that's in Shirora local government area of Niger State. The IDPs have fled their homes as a result of the recent bomb blast in Galadiman Kogo. Chinemi Bameyi has more. Dimon Kogo is a community in Shiroro local government area where terrorists planted bombs leading to the death of six men of the Security and Civil Defense Corps. The people have moved to this camp following these attacks. This intervention is to build community resilience. Abdullah Adamu is an inhabitant of Galadimon Kogo. His son and his younger brother were killed during one of these attacks by terrorists. He says this intervention has come at the right time and will help IDPs like him to keep body and soul together while looking forward to a day which they can return back home. But how close is that day? The distribution of livelihood support, which are clothing materials and um, some household um, items that could help to alleviate um, some of this they are suffering. Some of them left um, their comfort zones uh, pursued by the bandits and they ran away without thinking of clothing and so we felt we should come and cover their nakedness. So we thank God because of this uh, organization that have come today to actually aid us, to help us, to alleviate our problems that we are encountering. I am in good morning and over 50 motorbikes parked in front I heard the I I will urge very strongly that um, um, both government and victims and um, humanitarian aid give us that we, we find a way of going back to God, you know, just so that in the place of prayer, in the place of, you know, um, going back to see what is written in scripture concerning the day that we live in and then what solutions God has proffered for the things that are happening. The condition of these people is pathetic. A good number of them left their homes running away from the banditry attacks with just a single piece of clothing, what they were putting on. This makes the intervention of this NGO quite timely, bringing clothes to these people. Just behind this camp is the Shiro Hydroelectric Power Dam that supplies power to most part of Nigeria. The people say that if the government does not intervene in the issue of their security on time, they might be forced to give in to the demands of the bandits and enter into negotiations with them so that they can go back home and farm because the rains are here. Chanemi Bami, TVC News, Shiroro, Niger State.